Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I wanted to go over crystals used in the BC620 or the SCR510 World War II and Korea era radio. This is a very typical Jeep mounted radio and in uh, field function you can operate it on two channels and the channels are determined by which crystals are installed inside the radio. The crystals for the BC620, uh, you have the option of 80 different crystals. Um, they're typically numbered 0 through 79, and that's helpful. I'll tell you why. This 0 crystal, its frequency is 5.7067 megahertz but it's part of an oscillator circuit that uh, when crystal number zero is in operation the radio is transmitting and receiving on 20.0 megahertz similarly if you use the highest frequency crystal crystal number 79 its frequency of the crystal itself is 8.3400 megahertz but when crystal 79 is in operation in the radio you are transmitting and receiving at 27.9 megahertz so the trick is 0 is 20.0 1 is 20.1 2 is 20.2 etc there's a 100 kilohertz spacing between all the channels. And when you get to 79, it's 27.9. So you just add 20 to the crystal number and that's the megahertz frequency you're transmitting on. I'll show you where the crystals go inside the radio. I have this radio set up with an extension cord to the vibrator power supply so that I can pull the radio cabinet out. Here's where the two crystals are. And I just happen to know that I'm using crystal zero for channel A and crystal 79 for channel B. So my two frequencies of operation are 20 and 27.9 megahertz. So if you decide that you want to be on a different frequency with this radio, you can change the crystal out. But it's very important, there's a preset procedure to tune the oscillators, mixers, and other circuits for each frequency. I'll uh, walk you through that in a separate video. Anyway, hope you learned something about BC620 crystal configurations, and we'll see you next time.